Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we will solve the problem maximum XOR product from the weekly contest 372. So first we will try to understand the problem statement. We will understand the question and then we will see the set bits and we will see the logic part. How we will build the logic. Then we will see the high level of the coding part. So first let's understand the problem statement. So here they have given three integers a, b and n. We need to return the maximum value of a xor x and b xor x where x is less than or equal to 2 power n. It is 2 power n. Since the answer may be too large, we need to return the modulo 10 power 9 plus 7. xor is the bit by xor operation. It is a xor. First, we need to understand what is xor. xor. If we have bits here, if my bit is 1, 1 xor 1 which is 0. 0 xor 0 will be 0. If the same bits, same bits, xor is 0. We have different bits, my xor is 1. xor is 1. So, I think you understood what xor is. xor is, you can see this for the reference part. Now, we have a into b. We need to do a into b. And this is modified to a xor x and b xor x now now suppose if you have 10 if you have 10 we have 1 into 9 and we can increment 1 and we can decrement uh, 9 and we can increment to uh, increment 2 and we will can decrement 8 so if you see here my multiplication is 9 and here we have 16 here we have 21 here we have 24 and 25 so, so when my maximum is occurring, when when my both A and B are very nearer to each other, when A is close to B, then my A into B is maximum. A into B is maximum. I, you understood it, I think. A When A and B are very close to each other, then only it will be my maximum multiplication. But some will be same 1 plus 9 is same 2 plus 8 is same 3 plus 7 is same in the multiplication differs when both are when both are very close suppose if you have 11 and 6 into 5 will be my maximum hmm? now we will we will see like okay let's see how n n is saying that 4 and saying that it can reach till the 2 power n huh? so first we will see the cases now let's see the cases now both set bits are 1. Suppose the both set bits are 1. A and we have B. In this both set bits are 1. So X should be 0. Yes definitely because 1 XOR 0 is 1 and 1 XOR 0 is 1. Then bo if both set bits are 0. If both set bits are 0. My A is 0 and B is 0. What should be my mask value X value? It should be 1. To make it 1, to make it 1, if it is 1, it should be 0, when it is 0, it should be 1. Now, now both are different, now both are different, my A is 1, A set bit is 1, B set bit is 0, 1 and 0. Suppose my A is less than B, if A is less than B, then I will not do anything, then I will not do anything because when a is less than b a is less than b i need to maximum is it maximum is it if you are xoring it xoring it with one my a will decrease my a will decrease but my b will increase my b will increase which eventually decrease my answer which eventually decrease my answer so when b is less than a is less than b we will not do anything when a is greater than b when a is greater than b we will mask it. Suppose we have 1, 0, 0 and we have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now we need to make, now my A is greater than B. We are masking it. We are masking it. We are making it 0. It has become 0, 0, 0 and my B is becoming 1, 1, 1. We are incrementing B and we are decrementing the A. Now in the same thing with the set bit at B. A set bit is b is 1 then when b is greater than or equals to we are masking it 
we are decrementing the b and we are incrementing the a by using the or operator let's see with this example let's see with this example we have a which is 12 and 5 so 12 in binary is represented in this way and 5 is represented like this now we have at uh, index 4 index 3 you can consider 0 1 2 and 3 at index 3 we the set bits are different set bits are different so my phi is minimum my phi is minimum so here i will do or with 1 and xor with 1 to decrease 12 and to increase phi now the, this operation my my third bit my third bit has become 0 and this bit has become 1 because we xor with we are like doing with this set bit like set bit now at this position we have one one we have one one we are not doing anything <coughs> we are one one <coughs> we are good to go we are good, good to go now at this index we have zero zero if we are zero zero we should xor it with one to make it equals to one now my index is this now my index is this now if you observe here at this index zero and one are different this is a and this is b but my b is greater my b is greater so what i am doing here zero 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 or or of zero zero one and here xor of zero 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 one so if you do xor with one and one it will be zero and or will increment it now this value has increased seven into 14 which is 96 so if you see here this is my sorry sorry it is 14 into 7 is 98 98 so i think we have got the answer so let's understand the high level of the coding part if you understand the scenarios try yourself to code and if you couldn't able to then you can watch this here we are starting with n minus 1 because n can be reached until 2 power n 2 power n n minus 1 and mask mask is one left shift of i that means if one left shift of one is one one left shift of two is one zero one left shift of three is one zero zero this is my left shift operation does sorry my left one left shift of one is one zero one left shift of two is one zero zero which is one zero zero yeah sorry sorry for that this and here <coughs> we are checking my bits are one then i need i don't want to perform any operations i will continue here this bit both sets are one we are not doing anything now in the last condition if both are zero then we are masking it and we are increasing a and we are increasing b hmm, right now here if a is my masked a is one and a is greater a is greater then we, we are decrementing a by xoring with mask xoring with mask and we are incrementing b we are increment same thing here we are incrementing a and we are decrementing b and in the end and in the end we are calculating the modulo and don't forget to include long long because we need to typecast it and we will return return of a into b percentile mod so what will be my time complexity here here we are iterating till the end zero order of like n only we can say order of n we can complete it we can complete it now now order of n we can complete it so i think you understood this so the main the crux of the problem is over here here because everyone can identify which is one we should make it zero zero we can make it one but doing this is the most important thing part so if you understood this solution please please do like and subscribe to my channel so and one more small request so if you understood this solution please in the solution description i will uh, there will be a solution so you can click on that and please upload so that more number of students can help uh, can get help from this tutorial and thank you for watching